498 hours and 51 minutes. We're going to hit 500 hours this stream. Hey, future Fezzy. Hello. Hey, Fezzy, like three months from that. Two months, three months. All right, let's see what the estimation is. I am a month into streaming this profile. We made it four days thinking we'd be in um, November and we were actually just at the start of October um, or September. So, yes. So we were off by a lot. So let's try again, shall we? After basically like, I don't know, let's call it 30 streams. My guess is December 1st. No, December 30th, my birthday. It is going to be my birthday by the time. And then the end of December is four months. Mm. Now, December 1st, final, final answer. December 1st is when this video around. That's my guess for when this video will come out. I want to check something <laughs> in eight minutes chat 500 hours of gameplay you know what? let's do a quick recap right let's, let's do a recap of all the things i've accomplished so far how much did i get done in the past 500 hours of gameplay i barely spent any time afk <laughs> And the profile is one month 12 days old now with so with 500 hours my best mining equipment three fourths jaded yog with a wise yog helmet we have uh the various gemstones on it uh, a lot of flawlesses the ones that matter heated gemstone gauntlet with um three out of five on flawless with pristine five compact seven experience four fortune four pretty freaking good which means we have a grand total outside of crimson isles 12 pristine but if i were to equip the bell and then go into the magma fields oh yeah the the yog armor has 5,000 kills forgot to mention that and now that we're at the bottom of the magma fields with bow pet just under 4,000 mining speed, 680 mining fortune, 14 pristine, 10 breaking power. Absolutely insane. In regards to mining as well, we have a level 81 legendary armadillo pet. We have um, a level 100 skava. I think that's all of the mining stuff. Oh, actually, Heart of the Mountain. We have in total, I don't think it shows. I have Heart of the Mountain 6 working on 7. I have the following perks. Level 20 Fortunate, level 15 Great Explorer, 67 Professional, 52 Mole. I haven't gotten Peak of the Mountain yet because I have other things I'm prioritizing right now. But yeah, we have Efficient Miner, Daily Powder Max, Mining Fortune, Mining Speed. Now, if we look at the combat progression, in terms of Mage, I have the Sighted Power, I have a Voodoo Doll, Dreadlord Sword, as well as Shadow Goggles with 3 Forts Necrotic Crystal Armor. When I'm in Dugans, I have five-starred Young Dragon Chestplate. I want to get leggings, don't have them yet, and two-starred boots. I want to get Necrotic on that and combine it with the Shadow Goggles with the same setup. Haven't gotten the Bonzo Staff yet because I haven't really prioritized Dugans. Let's see, what other combat stuff do we- Ah, yes. Of course. So Sighted Power gives me a ton of freaking intelligence. Over 2,000. And I actually have a legendary uh, sheep- waiting for me in three days it's gonna be done at cat so then we're gonna be pretty awesome with mage stuff beyond that though with combat i've also got the forceful power stone which i i did the grinding for all the bird houses that was fun and we got silky from killing bird mothers speaking of silky if i go and uh do my stats tuning to crit damage and then we swap to full mastiff armor with a sus shaman sword and then switch my pet to my level 99 griffin over 40,000 health with mastiff armor and i do 57,000 damage per hit now if i swap that to my lion pet 78,000 damage but i'm not done if I want to get even more damage, I have Ragnarok Axe, which I can go like this. 
107,000 damage. Whew. So that's a thing. Now, obviously, Ragnarok Axe could be useful as a uh, regular old uh, strength setup. If I wanted to go Tarantula with 3 fourths Skeleton Master, I could do that. And if I wanted to max out the usefulness of the Tarantula Helmet, I can swap to Forceful, which gives more strength. So I don't quite have plus a thousand strength. I've only 647 of it, unfortunately. But you know, it's still not bad. 65k damage without using Mastiff Armor and Shaman Sword. Not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, that that is my combat capabilities at the moment. For Iron Man, I would dare say pretty freaking good. Let me see. Ah! Uh, farming. Yes. Uh, we have a blessed turning sugar cane hoe, legendary 44.3 million cane collection, turbo cane five cultivating nine. Yeah, this thing's insane. And legendary elephant pet level 98, as well as, um, farming 48. And by the way, subtle flex, including carpentry, 40.2 skill average. Not including, it's like 43, 44 skill average. Speaking of um, mage stuff before, alchemy 50, enchanting 60. My worst skill is fishing at 20, but everything else, even forging is 32. Combat 36, mining 37. I have a pretty decent amount of talismans now. Uh, so much uh, talisman power that I get... 393 magical power. We have a legendary wolf, legendary wither skeleton, level 99 grandma wolf, almost level 100. Actually, it's gonna hit level 100. We really need another EXP share to put on my whale pet. Um, we need to do that like today. Like genuinely, we need to do it today. Now also in terms of farming, if I wanna continue flexing, all the farms I could ever need are already made. Max island size upgrades, two full width layers, of cane which is the equivalent of 2.2 full width layers of normal island no 4.4 yes full width layers on a regular island size pumpkin melon wheat which i need to plant potato which i also need to plant uh wart and bead i have replenish on a, a cocoa chopper and on a potato hoe 25 minion slots and 20 uniques away from the 26th slot and if i go down here and i check elizabeth i believe in two weeks i'm getting what's gonna likely be my 27th minion slot we have a tree capitator of course after all that foraging of course i need one of those we have like almost half a stack of every single robot part stocked up for nucleus runs in terms of armor that yog armor is probably the most impressive uh we have full mineral Full candied bat person. I actually got a witch mask. Bronze hunter set, even though I'm only uh, fishing 20. Rancher boots, of course. But yeah, this profile has seen quite a lot of progression. Obviously all fairy souls. And my kata is only level 16 because it was down for half the time. Well, not half, like a quarter of the time. But there you go. That's how far the 30 virus got in his first 500 hours on an Iron Man. And it took just over a month and a week anyways uh i think considering the grandma wolf is level 99 and it's this close to 100 we absolutely need to grind beastie or not beastie we actually we need to get an exp share core we have to like it's getting to the point now where it'd be a waste otherwise so back to deep caverns we go i'm gonna kill slimes how difficult was silky once I got the strategy down, it wasn't that bad. It took about eh, four hours. I did get lucky, admittedly, because um, Foxy was mayor. So 2.5 X candy for that event. Or was it not? It was 20%, not 2.5 X. That was the gifts. It was 20% more candy. But even after Foxy, I still managed to get a second one with not Foxy. So it is definitely doable. But you just want to have like full candied bat person armor and... Um, do the strat with the the gourds then you'll get a pretty insane amount of candy therefore a high score therefore oh and i also get like a free like 1.5 mil on top of that a million coins and 500k from george for selling the skeleton horse pet i gotta hope i get lucky on this uh drop my magic find is pretty high and I have a pretty high kill combo level 100 practically grandma wolf. So like, what the hell? You know, what's funny. I could actually see 
getting to the point where I could buy a G-Drag. If I was really serious about making that my singular goal, I would switch all my minions to slime until I get all of them tier 9. Mine enough iron for perfect hoppers for all of them. <laughs> which would take in itself probably about 10 hours. And then once I've done that, I put corrupt soil in all of them. And then I would be making like, my guess, tier 9 lava buckets too. So that would take another like five hours so let's say I put a whole day into preparing the minions other than the actual slime which they'll generate themselves I would probably end up getting probably my guess would be about six mil a day like half of a fully max setup and then I'd probably continue to mine gemstones I get all the perfect ones and then perhaps I could upgrade the minions even further maybe get some uh spider slayer oh let's go Yes! It happened! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Why does that drop so pain? It's fine. We have it. It's done. I don't have to do that grind until level 100 legendary whale. I mean, isn't whale obvious, right? I don't think I need to debate chat on this one. Whale is the pet. EXP share! Boom nice and now we have that at the ready i should not equip it just yet because there's 300k xp that still needs to go into the grandma wolf you probably want it for g drag too that was my thinking yeah by the time so realistic talk right the realistic talk about the um the g drag i should be ready for it by the time that the whale is level 100 legendary i think a part of me wants to get the corrupt soil taken out of the slime minion because we need enchanted slime for more stuff yeah let's get rid of the corrupt soil for now that's gonna be useful later but i have enough sulfur collection already i practice a secret chumming technique it's reverse chumming instead of chumming it's the sea creatures giving you chums listen it's very easy wow okay listen that's good you are the chumming expert, okay? I also have some really good items for your chumming. And I have a, this really good tonic. It's a really good tonic, okay? So get mushrooms, filled chum buckets, trade tonics. Easy chums. Is this a drug deal? Listen, he's le legit, okay? <laughs> the mini clues here. Why am I here? Wait, <laughs> wait, I just got a silver medal in a mushroom contest. I wasn't even trying. Magma rod, pog. Uh, that should be a decent upgrade from starter magma rod if I want to continue with trophy fishing. 1.8, wow. So I'm going to go from 1.5 to 1.8. I hate fishing. 0.3, sea creature chance. 0.3 out of one hundred i would need to get that upgrade 30 times to reach plus 100 percent that sucks diver armor let me guess two percent sea creature chance per piece so i'd be getting instead of six i'd get eight is that what i'm looking forward to right now don't you need fishing 27 to use it oh don't tell me no so yeah the sheep pet is still a cat so we don't need to uh, well, it doesn't matter. It's only floor one. My cat is high enough. I could use the wrong pet. That's okay. Uh, I survived long enough with the wrong power stones. So we can, yeah. Oh, power went out. Hi, recording. The stream just died because the power blinked. Did you see that? I'm offline. Oh, oh, I'm going to get DC'd. No. Oh, crap, man. This is why I should have put my router on the same thing as the UPS. I'm a stupid. It's a good thing I have a UPS. I would have lost the recording otherwise. But I didn't connect the router. I'm going to put that on my to-do list, actually. I can't even type in docs. Oh. The online button turned blue. Hey, I have a feeling that beyond like 
my own stuff. The internet, like, spectrum is out. That. Might as well get food. Oh, hey! Oh, wait, it says connected, secured. Is my connection back? Hey! It is! Spectrum service alert. There is a service outage. Restore all estimated by 9.30 p.m. Can chat see me right now? Oh, so funny story. Um, 